This is Barbara and Dave's preschool. Welcome. This is where their children learn their academics and all the things they will need to do in the Canadian wilderness. The kitchen, the learning areas, and over here is the protecting station. As we move our tour to outside, this is Barbara. Hi. Huh? This is Dave. <laughs> now as we're walking around the edge here, we have our trusty dusty thing um wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, that's the name. And then back here is our cafeteria. This is where the children wash their hands and eat, both at the same time. While Barbara, the teacher, is teaching inside the preschool and also making their beautiful food. Moving on with the tour again, we're coming to the back. Now we are at the outhouse, the most prized position of the whole entire place we have here. This is the first thing we built, guys, back in the Yukon Territory. That is true, Barbara. Now here we have our wood cutting and supply station where everybody has nice needy help. Now up here is our recess area. Is our recess area. It has a swing. And that's pretty much about it. Barbara will demonstrate how to use the swing. You see it on it and that little stick goes into that tree hole. And you swing. Very that's good. Barbara likes the swing. Now as we move on with the tour, you see the endless Canadian wilderness. Poor Dave protects the school from escapees and wilderness creatures. As you see here, I don't have my rifle with me, you know. I'm going to climb along the tree stand here, go all the way up to the tail, all the way, all the way to the tail, all the way Dave, all the way. Barbara, you don't know how scary this is. <laughs> You're almost there. Okay, the top here. Um, you see, this is where I would sit with my rifle, getting ready to shoot any escapees, real good creatures trying to attack our darling preschool. As now I'm going to climb down. Dave really loves to catch some escapees and wildlife oh creatures. <laughs> In order for the kids to graduate, they have to cross the wall, cross the creek. Dave's going to demonstrate, but not all the way because he's not ready to graduate yet. Well, from here on. You cross the well, you cross the river, the Yukon River here. You go across into the wilderness here. And you're in the middle of the Yukon wilderness. You will never see another living soul again. Excuse me as I say that. You will use your skills from the preschool we have taught you. From the ages three to four to five, you will be able to live in that wilderness. You have to enroll your children for two dollars. You must really gotta hate them to enroll them here, but really, it is legitimate. And we all love our kindergartners, but not really, because they're devils. After we send them across that log to try to find civilization, and maybe even a better preschool. Hey, if they want to leave, the only way out is death. But you have to graduate to live to cross that log. So if you don't want to, as soon as your children come here, they are enrolled in the school. They cannot leave until graduation. They are taught many ways for lifestyle and living and surviving. They will be able to cross this log once they finish. Well, the log is the best part about it. And it's the most slipperiest log. If the log doesn't kill you on the way over, I don't know what will. <laughs> I never crossed this before because I'm pretty scared. He's not graduated yet either. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the worst things. Um, my best friend, Jen's, Jen, from, uh, he's a candle maker from Detroit. He didn't like pandas. He crossed the log, slipped in, hit his head on a rock, and floated 20 yards downstream until he pulled him out. It was gruesome. So, here we are, the Yukon Beautiful River. This has been the Avengers of Barbara and Dave Preschool Edition. Barbara, say goodbye to the camera. Bye. Bye. From Barbara and Dave. Please, Please come to our preschool.